Hi, I'm Jeannie and I'm from Jimmy Bean's Wall of Itchy Eye and I am here today to teach you how to, or my way of how to join in the round. There are several ways um, and I'll go over all of them and I'll share with you my absolutely favorite way to join your knitting in the round. Um, I do have double points here because I only wanted to work with just a few stitches. Last night when I was getting ready for filming I had considered casting on a hat on circulars so you could see but it's exactly the same so don't let the double points scare you off okay it's exactly the same so if you're doing a hat with 90 stitches cast your hat on to your circular needles make sure that all your stitches are going in the right direction down so you don't have a twist in your work and Kristen's going to zoom in here a little bit and see if we can get in on my hands there we go and there's three basic ways that I know of and I'm just going to stay right here and Kristen's just going to stay keep the camera there and we're going to be a great team so assuming that I'm ready to join in the round. I've got my tail here. I've got my working yarn over here. You want to bring your working yarn to the back or up and through the center of your round. Okay? I have used long tail cast on here, but this will work with any cast on. Doesn't matter. So you take your first cast on stitch with the tip of your right needle and this is assuming we have exactly the number our pattern calls for it. And can you zoom in a little bit more here? All right, let's see what we can do here. Get really close. Let's let the camera. Oh, beautiful, Kristen, beautiful. So you take the right hand needle, slip it up as if to purl, up and under that very first cast on stitch and just slip it off onto the right hand needle. Now I'm still not joined in the round. I have a great big gap here and if I started knitting I'd have it would be a mess. I'd have big ladders right here so we need to do one more thing. Take the left hand needle and slip it up underneath the last stitch you cast on. Whoops, I'm moving. You gotta holler at me. It's okay. And just keep that first slip stitch and the last stitch. Now don't drop either of these stitches off your needle and cross them over and you are now ready to knit in the round. I would place my marker here. I would knit around up until the last stitch and not complete the last stitch so my marker wouldn't fall off or knit to one stitch after my marker. So that's one way to do it. Another way to do it is take this all apart, whoops, here we go, is to assume that we took and cast on one extra stitch. So you take your extra stitch, the last stitch cast on, slip it onto the left hand needle, knit those first two stitches together as one and you now joined in the round. Um, the last way to do it, there's three basic ways that I know how to do it and I would love to hear if any of you have more ideas because I love to learn, is to just start knitting. My only complaint about that is you can end up with a good gap here. But if you do that, just pull that first stitch snug and keep on trucking. So that's basically it. Um, how to join in the round, the three basic ways. Oh, now I've started knitting. Okay, I'm done working for the day. I'm going to go knit now. <laughs> Sorry. Um, and, you know, hopefully you can play the video over and over again until you get the hang of it. You can always give us a call and we'll be happy to help you. And, yeah, see, I just started rocking. I'm ready to go. So, um, I'm Jeannie. I'm from Jimmy Bean's Wool, and that's how to join in the round. Have a great day. Bye. Thunder rumbles on this American summer night There's kids on the corner Stuck in a switchblade fight And the rock and roll bands Play for the girls on the beach